One of the things that we know that's important to student achievement is that kids are hands-on learners. And these types of gardens provide the students with access to hands-on learning. One of the main plants we have in this garden is called lemongrass. And if you look at how economic development starts, we try to start it at an early age with these kids. And we take common lemongrass and show kids how it's used to make tea and other fragrances. But more importantly than that, we also dry it out and package it as potpourri. This is the powder puff plant. And you can see the powder puff looks like a powder puff. Many years ago, females used this to powder their faces. This particular plant is the lantana plant. This plant is native to Florida and it's one of the biggest producers of butterflies. So kids not only get an opportunity to learn about the native plants in Florida, but they also get an opportunity to see the caterpillars and the metamorphosis that butterflies go through in their stages of life. The Liang Liang tree. This is a tree that's used worldwide to make one of the best perfumes in the world, Chanel Number no. 5. One of the reasons we put this here is kids will also have an opportunity to come out and do science experiments on making perfume. The bamboo tree is a grass, and of course there are famous animals that live exclusively on eating the bamboo tree. Students come out and see how the bamboo tree grows, the different colorations, and they also talk about what products are made out of bamboo. The unique property of the blue butterfly plant is that one of the folk tales is that if you pull one of the petals off and it looks like a butterfly, and when the wind is blowing, if you throw it in the air, it will fly and travel like a butterfly.